All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am trying Trader Joe's find. So I went to Trader Joe's and found some cool stuff. So I found this butter chicken. And I love, love, love butter chicken. Then I also found this, um, these chicken tikka uh, samosas. I also have some one-time spicy dumplings that I found at my career store. So I'm going to eat those. So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel for us. And even if you aren't new, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications next time you post a video. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like to see us try, things you like to see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. And I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this food that I'm, I'm about to receive for nourishment of my body and health. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so um, I have this dumpling sauce to go with because I just like this sauce. I got this, I get this sauce from, um, can you see it? I get this sauce from um, Whole Foods. It's like one of the few things that I go on Whole Foods for. I don't know what I went in. I think I was on, I don't even know how I discovered that sauce. But anywho, so I'm going to try this butter chicken. I said I was going to try to eat my hands. So let's see. I'm sorry I don't have any of the like yogurt sauce to go with my samosas. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The muscles are so good. Shout out to, I had a, um, well, I'm assuming it's someone who was, um, who is Indian. And they kind of walk through like the different like traditional dishes that are popular in India or what have you and like how to really like put together an Indian meal. So you start off with, you know, this thing, then your main course or these sort of things, then dessert is these or these sort of things. And uh, so I want to like go back on that list and like try some of the things that they suggested. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. One thing I don't have is I don't have any naan or any type of bread. Mm. So it has, um, this is butter chicken with basmati that's mighty rice. It's really good. I'm telling you, but that one place, the two, my two favorite places that I get butter chicken from, the one food truck that comes to to work is called Two Fat Indians. <laughs> that butter chicken is the bomb. So good. And then I door dashed a place or what have you um, since we've been on quarantine, quarantine, and that place was really good. But you know what? The person who also told me about um, different dishes, they said that it's never done to mix the salt, like mix the rice and the, the gravy together. And you know, you always like when I watch other people's videos and stuff, typically I always mix the, you know, the chicken and stuff together. Like this, this, I'm gonna show you what they do. This is what they do. They get a little bit of the sauce, right, and they put it on the rice and they go like this. You know what I'm saying? Mix it all good and then eat it. But 
But I'm pretty sure the comments said that they don't do that. And is it this is never done? I love one and the Trader Joe's finest stuff. Oh, and it's about to be pumpkin season, y'all, and I'm excited. Oh, I do want to acknowledge, you know, uh, RIP um, to a freaking Chadwick Bo uh, Boozman, man. Like, Boozman? Boozman. Okay. How I don't know. I typically know how to say his name while I'm drawing a blank now. But, man, so sad. That's just crazy. You just never know what people are going through, man. Like, filming all those movies while being sick. And I did notice that he had gotten a little smaller or what have you. And, look, me, like me and my sister-in-law said, we thought that maybe he was just, you know, closing training for it. Or, you know, getting in shape for another movie that he was doing. There's not, you know, out of the ordinary for actors to change their bodies and stuff like that for role, for movie roles and stuff. So, I ain't think nothing of it, really. So freaking sad, man. Let me try one of these dimples. Oh, maybe I put a lot for soft on my friend. Mm. 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 It's definitely spicy. Let me try to figure out what's in here. so sad, man. And of course, you know, all the kids love, you know, love him, you know, bringing us, you know, a black character, a black uh, superhero and stuff. You know, gotta love Brent Pesher and stuff. Like, uh, you know, and I was, you know what? They was hating on Black Panther a lot. Society in general was hating on Black Panther, okay? They did not want they ain't want Black Panther to do it as well as it did, you feel me? Like, and it did so well. But they did not want that all black movie, okay, to be uh <laughs> knocking down box office uh, you know, records and stuff like it did. Um they was hating man because like typically toy companies and stuff you can find in any of the other Marvel movies. You can find, you know, the characters and all the good stuff, like toys and stuff like that. Like right, probably before the movie even come out, in, anticip in anticipation of the movie coming out. When I went, after Black Panther came out, I think that Halloween I wanted to like Gavin wanted to be Black Panther or what have you, and I could not find anything like. I could barely find anything in the stores. Like, I couldn't find. And then that Christmas, I wanted to get him a whole bunch of Black Panther toys. I could barely find stuff, y'all. And I'm just like, that's crazy because had it been Captain America, Marvel, you know what I'm saying, or Iron Man, whoever else, they would have all type of stuff in the store. But they was hate. Y'all, the hate was real. Like, y'all, yeah, you see? And people be don't understand, you know, the plight of black people, what we go through, and the uh, animosity, adversity that we are met on every level of things that we do. Like, we can't even, like, y'all don't even want the movie to do well. Y'all not even going to promote it. Y'all not going to, like, get all the paraphernalia and stuff like that that every other movie that y'all do has, all the toys. Like, you know, 
people wanted some Black Panther toys and that like I mean I think that they probably have more now than they did but it was terrible I'm like this is crazy so rest in peace to him man and I, I mean, I get, first of all, he is old and um, he totally can have his privacy as far, because that's something that, you know, it's already stressful and to have other people, you know, people in this world is crazy. They're so judgmental, even just, you know, doing YouTube and stuff like that. Like, I don't experience much hate. I'm not really, I'm not big yet, but you know. Just, you know, the how people feel empowered to say it and judge your life and stuff like that when you're doing YouTube. Could you imagine, like, the ridicule, constant, just everything that he would have, you know, ex experienced on a regular basis. Not even just, you know, aside from having an ailment and then if people knew, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I get it. And so I respect his privacy and not wanting to share that part of him with the world because you know it's already it's just something that's already stressful so you know you want to go through that with the people closest that you love and I like I can't even imagine what he went through somebody else on my uh, Facebook feed they was like you know they've they've seen like stage four like colon cancer up close you know what I'm saying the effects of it I had a cousin who uh, just passed away uh, when did he pass away? He passed away last year? Or the year before? If it wasn't last year, it was the year before. Um, passed away from colon cancer. And he had stage four. And just like, just crazy. Like, you know, he got really skinny or what have you. Just the deterioration of his health and stuff like that. It was so sad. And one of my other cousins, I, she survived or what have you. But cause, because it was caught early. But, um, yeah, just crazy. And, mm, mm, mm. and I hate that, you know, like colonoscopies, that's one of the things that, like, same with breast exams, I hate the fact that, you know, you have to be a certain age before you can get a mammogram or a colonoscopy or what have you unless you're predis predisposed to get those like if you have family history or what have you and that's annoying everybody should be able to like you clearly sometimes this stuff does not have an age on it so I mean I guess if they did research to say like you know it primarily affects these people in this age group but again there are people obviously who are younger who are you know could get these diseases and stuff like that and ailments and you know the fact that you would just put an age gap on it it's scary we should be able to get all of these preventative um you know uh, Take all these preventative measures. So get these screenings early or what have you. Because obviously early detection is best or what have you. But yeah, man, just super sad. Like, I, when, when we found out it came across my sister-in-law's uh, phone or what have you. I was at her house. I was at over there. When was it? Yesterday? Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. And I'm like, dang, that is crazy. Crazy. Man. And 2020, man, has been cool. Man. I keep seeing memes, you know, that say, like, 2020 just keep trying to outdo itself, you know, just when, you know, you think it can't get no worse, 2020 be like, all right, hold my beer and hit us with some other stuff. Like, it's just, <sighs> yeah, but, you know, prayers and condolences go out to his family. Um, you know, 
Yeah, I couldn't, yeah, I just couldn't imagine or what have you. But, I mean, because he knew, you know, that he was sick for all this time, I imagined that, you know, maybe he, you know, did what he could to live, you know, as live and, and do what he, you know, live his life out while he still had the time, you know what I'm saying? And without the worry of, you know, the world, you know, maybe just feeling sorry for him and stuff like that, you know, I mean, we do, but, you know, I'm sure you probably just don't want that when you're going through it, you know what I'm saying? Like you want you want to have hope and stuff. I don't know, it's just all the things. It's just it's just so sad. So Yeah. And probably, you know, You know, because he was filming movies then, you know, they probably would have, like, you know, shunned him or, you know, wouldn't it, maybe he wouldn't even, because obviously, we already got so many strikes against us, and then, you mess around and say that you're sick or whatever, they probably, he may have not gotten the same, the, the you know, the same opportunities and roles that he did if he had disclosed that information, you know what I'm saying, so, mm hmm no, oh, it's all too sad, man. It's just sad, though. <sighs> so, y'all, let me know y'all thoughts, you know. These are hot. <laughs> Very spicy. Uh, heat that I wasn't anticipating on having during this meal, particularly, but I just wanted to try these. But Man, you remember? I remember when Black Panther came out. We knew it was coming out. Black folks was like, "Look, are we all going. We about to support this movie, okay? We don't care what it, how bad or good it is. And obviously, it was phenomenal. But we're gonna be there and we're gonna support. I want to say I went to see Black Panther like two or three times. I think it was three times. I don't know me and Gavin went. And now I think I went with my family. I don't know about the last time. I think I went three times. So though that was really good. These are good. They're just really spicy. I can't really say that I taste the the like the sam the because these are Sam Yang. Um one time spicy uh dumplings. But I can't say that I taste like the you know the one time spicy sauce. Like they're just hot. But maybe if I'm like in a, you know, Sam Yang mood or a mindset, maybe. But it just kind of didn't go. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to try them. Um, what else? Yeah, so what kind of?
even me and Gavin, we um we wanted to make a like our own special handshake, and it definitely had the Wakanda forever in there. Chadwick was fine. Okay. So that's all I've been seeing on my timeline all day. I'm trying, I'm trying to find the pictures of like when we went, because I know we, I'm sure we took a picture in front of the movie sign or whatever. So I had to see, I, I'm trying to find, I was trying to find it actually right before I did this video. Aww. My cousin, I love her. She is really serious. So my, um, she, um, I'm an accountant, I think I told y'all before, um, and she uh, wants me to help her with her accounting homework. Um, she's taking an accounting class, and I just bless her heart. She was like, uh, she's like, please, cuz, help me, I'll pay you. And I was like, you really don't have to pay me, or whatever, but she's insisting on paying me, and look, I'm gonna turn down the money, you feel me? So, uh, and that, and I just saw that she just paid me, or whatever, but, um, yeah, I don't mind helping, man. I help where I can and stuff like that. And I understand it because accounting is not the easiest thing. I'm actually going to hold me to it, y'all. When y'all see this video, ask me if I study because I am going to do it because Lauren don't get me anyway. But um, I told her that I would start studying. I want to um, sit for a CPA exam. I have started doing it. And I, I have, I've literally, have I taken all three exams? All four? I think I've taken three of them. I passed one, um, but I lost the credit for the one I passed because I did. So when you take, um, when you take an exam and you pass one, then you have 18 months from the from the time that you pass the first one to take to take and pass all the other three parts. There are four parts to the CPA exam, and I didn't pass. I didn't uh, pass them in the a lot of time period, so I lost the credit for the ones I did pass. I'm sorry, um, but luck for to me, it was one of the easier exams, and that one was basic business acumen. Like I feel like if you were in the business world, you could pass that one because it's just basic business knowledge. You feel me? So um, yeah, but so. This whole time while I've been on quarantine, I could have been studying, and I am, like, we don't go back to work. I don't go back into the building until January, so I can at least, at least take one before I go back to work, even if I don't, uh, at least take one exam before I go back to work. I want to, I'm going to try and focus on the hardest one that of them all, which is the financial one, so it's financial regulation, um, audit, and, uh, BC, which I can't remember what that stands for right now, but um, because I want to have my CPA CPA license, I feel like um, that is just a goal of mine. Also, a lot of now it's not required, but a lot of the um, individuals who are two levels above me at work have CPA licenses, and I feel like you know it's not required, but I know that I need to get it because um, you know what I'm saying like. I just need to get it because that'll be just one thing that they will try to hold over my not hold over my head but keep me from from keep from promoting me to that next level because it's just like oh we don't have this and you know so I definitely want to get that I don't think that everybody at that level has a CPA license in my area but I just want to make sure that I have it so y'all can't you know you can't at least that ain't a thing that you could say that you know not uh, promote me for so and it's been a goal of mine since I've since I graduated undergrad, I've always wanted to um, obtain my CPA license. So I'm going to get on it. I need to get on it. Y'all hold me accountable. Listen, even every video after this one, okay? Because I post videos every day asking if I study, okay? Hold me accountable, y'all, okay? Because um, when people ask me, then I feel bad if I didn't do it and I will do it. Um, and I'm going to do it today because Lauren, she doing like, so she, I told y'all she has, um, she did, this girl got three businesses. Is it three? She makes soaps. She has a beauty, um, so she makes soaps, beauty products, which I've told y'all before. I will link her, um, I always say this. 
sometimes the reason why I forget sometimes is because I don't always watch all my videos all the way through and I may not watch this one all the way through just because I don't have any interruptions right now like the Bubby or Gavin aren't here right now so when I when I can I know that I've recorded the video all the way through and I didn't have any interruptions or what have you so didn't have to cut anything out so I may that was Gavin so I may have to cut this something out so that means I may have to watch this one but um I'll put her link in the description really quick but um so anywho she's um she's got a nail business well she's got it's called Gigi's Beat but she's making like um press on nails um and she's got a lot of orders that she has to fill this weekend so my thing is, is if she can knock all these nails out this girl she is super woman for real okay she is a wife obviously she's mar married to my brother um she has three children at home two of them are small four and five she has her businesses so she's making soaps um different beauty products hair care products like for natural hair um skin care stuff scrubs stuff for your feet then she's making these nails okay she is homeschooling two of her children she is also about to start going to school on top of the fact that um anytime i ask she never tells me no she all if i need her to watch the kids with my children which is not often um just if i have an appointment or something she never says no she always says yes she loves my children as much as I do or I mean not more but you know she definitely loves them like as her as if they were her own and like she's doing all that and I'm what I'm doing at home making YouTube videos I mean not that's no easy that's no like easy feat that I'm doing that but um yeah so I could study for a CPA exam basically like I'm working from home um and I do have my my babies and stuff like that but on the days that I don't have them and stuff I could be studying I could be doing something more productive I feel like YouTube is productive but I could be doing something more so I am going to study tonight y'all so anywho all that to say okay guys um yeah I need to get my life together because you do a whole lot okay so um all right my video is about to cut off so thank you so much for watching the video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let's know things you like to see you try things you like to see us cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you and subscribe to the channel like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video and we'll see you in the next one peace out now nah, i'm not playing y'all ask somebody at somebody asked me like hey hey did you uh did you study did you study today ask me okay and i'm gonna tell you ask me after you after you finish that video did you study? And I'm going to tell y'all that I did. I'm going to be able to tell y'all that I did because I'm going to clean up. I'm going to call y'all back. I'm going to call them back. But then I'm also going to study. Okay? Well, even if I do like an hour, I'm just going to look over some notes or something.